Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcome to episode 61 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And in between episodes, this fire pillar came back, so now we do have to do something about it again. Anyways, um, yeah, so we're just gonna keep on progressing through the fire temple here. No biggie, no biggie at all. I hope this recording doesn't fail like my gobble one did, because that would really suck. Especially if I saved at the end of this, like I normally do, which I probably shouldn't, now that I think about it. But anyways, yeah, so there's some keys here. Let's just kill them with our hookshot, because I don't want to be wasting arrows. Nice. Some hearts and stuff. It's always good. But that's about it. And oh my god. Whoa. Okay, so you got to do some clever walking here, or you can just climb along the grating of the fence, which I'm probably going to do or not, maybe. Link can't make up his mind. Sorry. Oh my god. Oh, shit. Yeah. Anyways, let's just keep on climbing up the grating again. Stupid high fence. Who built the fence out here anyways? Wouldn't it melt? I don't even know. Or wouldn't it be, be at least hot to touch? Well, I guess my Goron tune could save me from that, so... That might be a logical explanation. It might not be. Whatever. Again, logic doesn't make sense in Zelda games. Oh my god, no! Oh, I almost fell off. I thought I, I, thought I fell off there. But anyways, just stop this flaming column of death. You're going to push a block on top of it. And hopefully that'll stop it. Let's see. Is it going to? Is it going to? If it'll just fall? Yes, it stopped it. Awesome. Oh, are you... Oh my god. Wow. I'm supposed to land on top of that block, which is pushed up by the ultimate power of the volcanic fire. Which doesn't make sense to me, because it's like a giant stone freaking block. But... I guess... You know what, just stop mentioning these physical impossibilities, dude. It's not fun anymore. Although, who am I to say what's fun and what's not to my viewers? They can decide that for themselves. Because I think I suck as a Let's Player, but... I have 63... 64 subscribers or something. Dude! Not again! Not again, dude! No! You know what, screw it. I'm, I'm just cutting to the top of this fence. It's a pointless cut, I know. Well, now, now that I'm already, like, almost there, I might as well take it. That was lame, dude. Two times in a row, man. Two freaking times in a row. And don't even think that I'm gonna quote you-know-who, because I'm sure many of you know, and were thinking that I was gonna quote him right there, but I'm not. Because I'm not a cheap bastard like that. I don't, I'm not gonna sell myself out like that. Not to you, not to anybody. I'm my own free man. Anyways, so we made it past that room finally. And there's some weird lava slugs here. Uh, what are these actually? I don't even know. Torch slugs. Well, excuse me, princess. Alright, it's dead now. These usually drop magic. I don't know why, but it's useful, I guess. Even though you don't really use magic at all in this thing. In this freaking temple. Yep, they're magic again. Okay, and there's a neat little switch over there. This is the switch that the guy was talking that you could, like, hit with daisies if you want, or you can slice it. And it'll make the fire up there disappear. But that's not what, actually what you're supposed to do. Because you, if you do that, then you won't have enough time to get up there before the fire respawns. See, the timer just ran out there, so the fire came back. Anyways, uh, so we have to do some tedious block pulling here. No big deal at all. Oh man, it's 11.42 p.m. Man, why did I choose now to record this? I probably... Like, I'm not tired or anything, but I might get tired and bored of this temple. This is probably one of my least favorite temples, just how te tedious it can be at times, but... Whatever. So, we're gonna go ahead and drop a bomb here, which will hopefully hit that switch. Yes, it did. So, you don't have to use daisies or... Well, you can use a daisies or a sword if you want, but... I prefer to use the bomb, just because it's much more useful. Plus, I don't know where you get daisies in this game, so... Yeah. Spoilers, I don't know where you get daisies in the game. That's not a spoiler, dude. That's a confession. Confessions and spoilers are two different things, my friends, and oh god, I hate this room. Because I always get lost in it for whatever reason. Maybe, well, maybe I won't this time. Maybe, maybe the LP gods are smiling down at me, and I won't get lost. But you want to put a bomb right here, actually. I could have showed off what the what the bomb wall sounds like by slicing it, but 
I decided not to. There's a Sculptula here, by the way. And I got a backflip to it again. Yes! Awesome. Ooh, nice shot of Link's lower, of the bottom of Link's boot. The bottom of Link's boot. You go, get I give you boot. And I didn't, that didn't, that wasn't even comprehensible. Okay, now I just, ow. Yeah, I know the location of that one Sculptula, and then I just start kind of running around like an idiot. Like a chicken with my head cut off, if you know what I mean. Ouch. And then I run through boulders, or not. I thought I could run through boulder, but apparently not. Oh look, there's a Goron here. Yes, awesome. I actually forgot about this guy. Good thing I found him while just blatantly wandering around. Okay. Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? Yes! Yes, I am. I'll tell you a secret for saving me. In this temple, there are doors that fall down when you try to open them. When one of these doors starts to fall, move! If you use a sample of the Goron's special crop, you can break it. Or kill it if the if if the moving door I think it's alive, but whatever. And here we have another key, awesome. I feel like I missed a key somewhere already, but I know I didn't, so at least I hope I didn't. That would suck, but if I did, there it's no big deal, because I'll have to backtrack, but you won't have to watch that. So anyways, ow, bitch. Is, is that all in this room? Uh, at least on the lower level. Spoilers. I'm gonna say that's all in this room. I don't even care. And oh god, I hate this room. Well, first things first, I'm gonna do this just right, just now. Take out my bow and arrows. And shoot that little eye up there. Just get a precise shot. Take careful aim, Link. You did good with that sculpture and Zora's domain, but this is a whole new ball game. And that opens that door over there. Which we can now go to if we walk very carefully. Because if you fall here, you will fall all the way down to that room, like the very the second room in the dun technically third room that you visit in the dungeon, the one with the big bridge in the middle. You will fall all the way down there and you have to backtrack all the way back up. Anyways, ooh, it's a special item. What is it? What is it? What could it be? I can't wait. I'm getting so excited. Oh my god, what? 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 It's shiny, apparently. It's not shiny. It's paper. Boo. You have the dungeon map. You don't need to pick that up if you don't want. You don't need to pick up any dungeon map if you want, if you don't want to. But I do, just for completeness sake. And now we are going to walk very carefully down across here again and hope that we don't fall, please. Please don't lag or something, because that, that would really screw me over. And I, I did it. I missed a key. I seriously missed a key. What? What? I must have missed something in that in this room back here. That's the only explanation I can think of. Because I I swear. What? I I missed a key. Oh God. This isn't going to be fun. What's this? Is this the door that I came through? Or is it? No, it's not. It's another Goron. Awesome. Thank goodness I found you, my good friend. You're going to save me because you're going to give... Well, not you. Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? Let me tell you a secret for as a reward for releasing me. Why do you talk normally and all the other Gorons talk like stupid idiots? When you are on fire, you can put it out by cutting, by swinging your sword, or by rolling around. Did you know that? No. Well, actually, I did. You can also jump in water. That's also very effective. And here's the key that we were perplexed by. You silly key. You thought you could evade me forever? You were wrong. Because I found you just now. Open the door. Close the door. I'm going to run across the room now to that door that I recently opened so that I can progress through the game. I open this door now, and now I close it. I see a very small ledge that I must walk across, and I make, make my way across it very carefully. I am halfway across this ledge. I am all the way across this ledge. I unlock the door. I open it. I close it. I am done talking like this, because that is just annoying. Okay. And we're going to hop over here now, I guess. Climb up here. And all of a sudden, a raging wall of flame will appear behind us. Run! Run for your life, Link! It's a race against time! Hurry, hurry! The whole fate of Los Angeles depends on you! It's all about you, Link! You're the star now! You can do it! You can do it! I did it. No big deal. 
No big deal. No, no it's not. That wasn't anything. Anyways, so we are going to be on the second, uh, on the upper level of that other, other that room that we just came out of recently. But it looks like we are running out of time. So, um. Yeah, I'll just take a quick look around this room, show you what it's like. It's a pretty nice room. At least there's no boulders up here. Ha ha, you boulders can't hit me. Nyeh, 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 nyeh. Anyways, um, thank you all for watching. Next time, we will continue through the fire temple. Hopefully, we'll get maybe halfway or so through it. I don't know. Anyways, this is the Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.